everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you need if you need welcome, my name is Brie. So for today's video, I thought, you know what? We're gonna switch up a bit and we're gonna have a bit of fun with my makeup today. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing how a makeup look on how I used to do it in like year seven and year eight so when i just joined my high school um because at my high school that um you go from year seven to year 11 and then there's a studio school which you go to so um if you want to do like music and drama and makeup and stuff so obviously i'm gonna go there um but yeah I'm a bit scared of this video. But anyway guys, let's get into the video. So, one thing that I used to use all the time was sun cream. Um, literally, I could not go a day without using sun cream. Um, I uploaded a video, it was like my first ever YouTube video. And I did like this time lapse type of thing of how I used to do my makeup on my everyday makeup routine and I used to use this and this was at the beginning of I don't even know like this was during kind of the end of year mm, year eight i think um so that was kind of something um literally a year ago nearly at this point um because i'm in year nine now but i'm nearly in year 10 so in, in september i will be in year 10. anyway so the next thing that I'm gonna do is put on foundation. Hmm. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. This is really, really dirty, but I've had it for literally years. And this is in ivory, which is a bit dark for me. <laughs> um, because I couldn't do makeup back then is this the brush i used to use i'm pretty sure it is actually even though it's literally not even a foundation brush but oh actually no it wasn't but my other one's dirty so what we're gonna do is i don't know where the brush has gone oh it's in here uh we're gonna use this olivia hale buffing brush which is literally kind of like the one that i used to use um, but if I use foundation now, this is the brush I use. So I take my Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. This is literally what it looks like. It is, oh, I don't even want to put this on my face right now. But you know, so I use this swirl. Oh. I use this swirl. Oh God. So I used to put my brush in the Dream Matte Mousse. Oh my God, this makes me feel sick. I'm just... And I literally used to whack it on. Um, I'm not gonna lie, kind of understand what my friends. Right, I'm just gonna scoop some out and put it on my face, and then spread it out. Cause I'm pretty sure that's actually what I did. Um, no wonder my friends were saying that I looked orange in those. Oh my god. Um, this is gonna be here. Yeah interesting video God. this is literally my worst nightmare so i never finished blending it i never blended anything down to my neck um because i thought it matched perfectly so i didn't see the point um it's not that bad of a match once it's blended out, but I don't know. Anyway, moving on to concealer. 
concealer that I actually use, I kind of still use it now. I don't use it every single day because obviously I have like my Tarte Shape Tape and my Revolution Conceal and Defines and stuff. But this is the collection Last Imperfection. Um, and this is in the shade Fair One. So it is. I don't even. I, I don't think it's the lightest. But it's not the. Obviously not the darkest. And I used to do triangles like this. Because when I first ever got concealer, I looked up a tutorial on how to use it. And this is apparently what. Um, and then I used to do this because apparently everybody did that and then I used to do this and then I used to go along here like that and then I used to take the excess and literally pop it everywhere like that and then I also used to put it here because I saw James Charles do that and once thought I was literally a goddess um, because I was like I've learned something from Jim Charles no honey um, I don't even know what that does literally does nothing but now we're gonna blend it all out right so I think I've finished blend it out as best as I possibly can um then for my powder um i have a glossy box full of the all the makeup that i um, usually use and that i don't really use anymore so that's why i am um that's why i'm going like that so i'm gonna use the revolution bacon blot this is the banana one um i do not like this powder at all maybe in the lighter shades but it is a really it's like a foundation powder it's not even like a face it's not even like a powder powder it's literally like a foundation powder um and i'm just gonna use my normal powder brush i'm probably gonna ruin this but and i'll use to load up my brush and pop it on it's i want to blend it down to my neck so much and i used to lather it on like cake it on like so there's no shine at all because i was like you know what i need to be as matte as possible now i don't like being really matte um i like a bit of a glow to my face um so and then i used to take this I need to squeeze it like this and pop it under my eyes like oh, I kind of still do this now but I bake now with a sponge um so um baking didn't come until like a couple months after um this makeup routine so there wow I feel so dry anyway now I'm gonna move on to eyebrows because they are looking questionable so i'm gonna use um you saw this brush in my last video and i literally loved it um it's the la splash defining brush it's like an angled eyebrow brush so i'm gonna take the katie price brow palette now you can get this one on revolution i'm pretty sure i don't even know if it's still on sale but i think you can get it look what a mess this palette is Hey, there you are. <laughs> but literally, look at that. That is a mess. Clearly, I used to use this shade, so we're gonna use that shade today. Um, but first, I used to go in with this one here, um, which is kind of like a wax for your brows to make the colour more pigmented, I think. I literally do not know, but I used to put so this on my eyebrows before and then so now that I've all done I'll literally just whack it on when I was younger I literally did not give a damn about my eyebrows um, in some pictures that I found the other day of me when I used to use this they actually looked okay um, 
like when I was nearing the end of nearly done with using this but you know so we're just going to go into that shade with like that I've hit pan on um and I used to load my brush and so I'm just gonna go in and I used to outline the bottom of my brow and just fill them in <laughs> I don't know so I've just finished doing my eyebrows um see the thing is it's actually a really good product it's just the way that I used to do them because uh, I did not used to blend out this line here but I have a bit because I thought I was really really cool when I used to blend it up um wow and then I used to take this pink gel type thing here and used to put that in my eyebrow too because it's obviously like an eyebrow gel so it literally feels like putting Vaseline in my lips like in my eyebrow in my eyebrow so I literally do not like this at all but you know oh actually it's all right actually to be honest just, I don't think I would use it because now I'm a pencil type of girl. Um, anyway, moving on. Oh my god, now we do eyes. I used to use this Soap and Glory Perfect 10 Limited Edition 10 shade eyeshadow palette. I got this for Christmas one year and I absolutely loved it. Like, I don't know if you can tell. This shade here, yeah, I've hit pan, nearly run out. Um, and. I actually really really like this palette maybe I should start using it more often but I used to use this shade and this shade every single day and um, because I saw a lot of girls at my school were wearing pink tones on their eyes and stuff and I think I thought it looked so cool so we are going to take probably actually I have the exact same brush I used to use so I'm just gonna clean it off in my little sponge switch thing um so i used to use this brush um i used to literally live for these brushes um i can't remember where i got them from i think i think i i think i actually got them from wish or somewhere um but um i literally used to use this for everything so first we went in with this cream shade here so we're just gonna wax some of this on and literally when I was younger I did not muck about I just plastered it on my eyebrow uh, on my eyebrow on my eye and prayed that it looked okay um so and then I brought it up to my eyebrow just to kind of set the concealer in place then gonna take pink tea which is this matte pink here it's like a really pale pink and pop that on my lid kind of going into my crease I literally used to do this over and over again but with this type of brush it hurts so bad and then the other you see this palette is really pretty and let's change the lids for soap and glory things. So, now that that's on, we're going to go in with Minky, which is a shimmer pink. This was my every single day. It's again with the same brush still. And I like loaded my brush. And I just popped this all over my eye. Literally that care in the world, just all over my eye. This is something, like something. <laughs> right. So, wow. It's see, it's still a pretty eyeshadow. Will forever be a pretty eyeshadow. 
actually I'm nearly hitting pan on that anyway so now that that is done we're gonna go in with face products for my blush I used to use well I still use actually the Benefit um California blush um I actually used to live for it so I'll have it here and so um I literally used to use this brush to apply it with literally completely wrong actually I don't know if it is the wrong brush but it's just not a brush I would use now um but this blush if you don't use it with the right brush it's just not pigmented so you have to really rub it in I used to put quite a bit on I used to dab it like this because I saw Nikki tutorials and people do that um so how I how I have hit not hit pan on this yet I do not know I've literally had it for literally two years um so I'm just waiting for the day that I hit pan it's getting to the point where, I, where it's actually kind of annoying I used to put some down here as well just a bit and then I used to put some along my forehead and down here um now look like this I didn't bronze or anything I just left me looking like this so now for highlighter i actually used to use a primark highlighting palette it was the i think it was that gold rush palette and it had a gold highlighter and a pink highlighter i've got a pink highlighter it's just not that one because i just throw it out but then i found this which i always used to use it's way too dark so now if i do use it i'll literally just use it with um is that high eyeshadow because it's meant for a highlight or eyeshadow it's by w7 and it's the glow commotion thing and i've actually made a dent in it too i don't know if you can tell it's got me little mirror so i used to use another mermaid brush but this one's like pointed and so i used to use the pointed side and literally go like this so we're gonna load my brush like, look at that oh and then I literally just went like this. Not a care in the world on what it looked like. I just thought I was really, really cool. This is actually it's really pretty. I might still use it now. And I used to put some down on the nose and things. And then I used to cover my lips I literally used to go like this um, and then I also used to put it on my chin literally like that um, and then I also used to put it here for some weird reason don't know why um, so that's my highlighter then we're not done with the eyes yet but I can't find where it is exactly but I have the Kat Von D this is the cake pencil um, in the miniature version because I also it came in like a set with the little go big or go home scan um, and so I used to live for black eyeliner on my water line Guys, I really don't like this. See, the thing is, it's not that I don't like. I love like people wearing like black eyeliner on the waterline. I'm just eyeliner on the waterline. Like Linz, oh my god, she suits it so much. Linz, honestly, if you're watching this video, you suit like eyeliner on your waterline so much. Um, but I don't think it suits me um, we'll see when we put mascara on which is next um, I'm going to use the W7 Ultra Plush Everything Mascara 
Um, as you can tell, I used to live for W7. I mean, don't get me wrong, they are a real good brand. Um, and come out with amazing dupes of things. So, this is what the one looks like. I'm not going to lie, on the days where I don't really want to wear too much makeup, I actually still use this because it's really good i also got told if you look down then you can see your eyelashes like lengthening and apparently it's easier to apply a uh, mascara when you're looking down um i have to say it is kind of helping me looking down how much is unclear Right, I'm not gonna lie, now that I've put a bit of mascara on, it looks a bit better. Not a lot. So then I used to do bottoms. A lot of people don't do bottom lash mascara, but I love it. I just think without it, it makes it makes me. I don't know. I just think bottom lash mascara completes my look. Should there to be a plane or a helicopter flying over my house? Lovely. Oh my god, it's so warm again. <laughs> um, but now I'm going to do lips, which is the last thing. Obviously, my makeup in these days was very quick and makeshift. Um, I did not give a care what my makeup looked like for school because I was surrounded by people that literally knew me for years. Um, so yeah, uh, for lips. I used to use a mixture, well not a mixture, I used to use, um, I've got four options, I have the PS Primark Lustre lipstick, I have the Revolution Inspiration Ultra Matte lipstick, I have the Nivea Pearly Shine and I have the Benefit Punch Pop, but I think I'm going to go with the one that I had first which is this one. I used to live for this, so... Oh, How my friend stuck up with me through year 7 and year 8, I do not know. You know what it is? Because... This, I look like one of them memes, you know, when, when you leave, when you leave Superdrug. Um, uh, anyway, um, this is literally it, <laughs> like, oh, actually, no, it's not. I used to use these, these are the Body Shock Shimmer Cubes. Uh, meant for your eyes and there's like a pack of four and like purples but there's a white one and I always used to use the white one literally with the same brush I literally used to use five brushes like five six brushes Um, so I'm just gonna rub my thing into the cube and pop this in my inner corner see these are still really pretty again not giving a care. Like that. Um, so, that pretty much concludes this video. Um, I'm hoping it's not too long because I had to do a full face, but it literally didn't seem like two minutes. So, yeah. I would not wear this makeup right now. See, the thing is, I probably might minus the lips and minus the foundation literally they, i swear on this is featuring literally every single thing of how i used to do my makeup literally but now i've got mascara on though the eyeliner doesn't look too bad but anyway so that is it for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, give this video a thumbs up if you did and comment down below what videos you would like to see next um i'm probably going to do a palette collection next because obviously that's what lynn's asked for and I just thought it would be a really, really good video. And yeah, subscribe to my channel. Love y'all so, 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 so much. Bye.